it's 100 degrees where I live and maybe 80 degrees with humidity where you live. So I'm sure the last thing we want to talk about is putting more clothes on our bodies and into our wardrobes, right? And we just want to find ourselves lounging around by the pool with a drink in our hand. What? It could be a non-alcoholic drink. I'm just saying a drink in my hand. Today we're talking about five tips for being stylish in the summer heat. But before I dive in, let me define stylish because it can have a lot of definitions. When I say stylish, I'm referring to someone who is in tune with her own personal style, body, and dresses for the opportunity. In this case, the weather. So don't be showing up in a stylish ski outfit to a beach party, that's not stylish. Make sure your outfit fits the occasion and the weather. Okay, without further ado, here are five tips for being stylish in the summer heat. Number one, color. Color is a powerful styling tool. And I suggest for the summer, you choose colors that are flattering for the season, which means whites, lights, light neutrals, pastel, brights, but not black, not all black. I know it's my favorite color too, but it attracts the sun and it just makes you hot and makes you look hot. So definitely opt for colors that are more summer appropriate with lighter colors. Number two, Definitely go for linens and cottons and fabrics that are more breathable. Got great examples here for you. So I pulled out some, some linen dresses. Now something about linen is it does get wrinkled a little bit easily, but that is kind of the look, for, look of it, but it does keep you a lot cooler in the summer. Also, I've got some great cotton dresses as well, so 100% cotton, just so much more breathable. And you know, something loose and flowy is just so nice for the summer, but if you do wanna tailor up a little bit just to show your curves, then a belt is an awesome option. And with auto collection belts, they're great because they're soft and also you can tie it and so you control where you tie it and you don't get you know super hot and tight on you. So definitely go for fabrics that are just, that help you stay cooler. And again, the colors, just stay, uh, you, they help you stay cooler. Now, another thing I often hear is, well, how do I cover up my arms if I don't like my arms or my legs? And, you know, just different things that women just get a little bit more self-conscious in the summertime. So to cover up arms, easy breezy. You just put up, put on a little cover. So here, all right, so one of the things you could do is just grab a little shawl and toss it over. You can carry a shawl in your purse. Um, and it's nice because it not only protects you from the sun and also like in air conditioned rooms, but also nicely covers up your arms. So if you are self-conscious of your arms and you do want to wear just different like spaghetti strap tank tops, just carry a shawl with you. Or if you want something like a little bit more Structured, you can always go with like a little light vest. The key thing here is light and flowy and again, breathable fabric. So for example, you can even bring something in like this and have like a little tank underneath and wear this. Like this is actually really, really nice thin material and it doesn't, it doesn't make you too hot. So definitely layering, layering in some pieces is a great way to cover up your arms. Now for covering up your legs, I definitely recommend dresses and skirts for the summer. Why? Because they're just so much cooler, they're more breezy, and I personally don't like to wear shorts in the summer because anytime I sit down it's like on leather car seats, um, I get kind of sticky or burned, and I just love skirts for that reason. Now you can really control the width, obviously. You can go with a maxi, you can go with something with midi, you can go with a skirt that has slits, you can go with um, something that's more feminine or something that's more casual, something that's more sporty. It just all depends on the look that you're going for, your personal style, your lifestyle, where you're going to be wearing it. But definitely give skirts and dresses a try this summer. They will keep you very cool. And the last tip are accessories. I definitely recommend accessorizing because you can just really grab a nice kind of like loose tunic that might look kind of like loungewear, but once you get some accessories on it, it looks a lot more sophisticated and elegant. Now, this is an Auto Collection fringe soga belt that you can tie nice and loose down at the bottom and bellow out your um, bellow out your tunic, or you could wear it higher on the waist. Now, what's nice about this belt is that you can really control the width of it. Um, so you can wear it like triple wrap it or double wrap it, and also it's not too hot. It's just, it's really nice, kind of a lightweight leather. And of course, accessorizing with necklaces or hats, 
handbags, shoes. I mean, it's so easy to accessorize just a really plain, kind of like a nice linen fabric um, tunic and really make it look more elevated and updated. So those are my five tips. I hope you got a lot out of this video and I hope that you're gonna be able to apply some of this. If you love this video, please share it with some friends and be sure to leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. And now head over to the Auto Collection blog and leave me a comment or let me know your top styling struggles and challenges that I can help answer. And once you're there, be sure to subscribe to our newsletter list where you'll be the first to know about styling tips, freebies, and offers we only share with our insiders. Do you have a signature style and your closet is perfectly aligned to it? Or maybe you've had a lifestyle change, your body has changed, you got busy, and you haven't taken the time to align your closet to your current style and figure. Being able to choose an outfit in the morning that says who you are and shows the exceptional you to the world is self-expression and true style. Save yourself time, money, frustration of the trial and error of buying clothes and returning them or hours in the fitting room. And don't miss another opportunity to use your outfit as a tool to make you feel confident, smart, cool, sexy, chic, and glamorous and align your image with your goals. Get the live guidance you need to become your own stylist in less than a month and create a wardrobe you love and live life in style guaranteed. Learn more by clicking the link below.